To create points, enable the edit mode. You can do this by pressing spacebar or intro or pressing the button in the inspector. When you select a point, you can see its basic properties in the inspector. Center pivot moves the origin of the spline to the center of it. Square button transforms your shape into a rectangle, keeping the current size. And circle makes the same for a circle shape. There are three modes of controlling the Bezier. Linear, continuous, and broken. You can also change the mode for a multiple points in the same way. If you want to change the same setting for every point, I suggest you to use the All Points tab. There are several things you can customize to make it look like and behave the way you like the most. Auto Tangent toggles between the traditional Bezier control and the automatic control. You can notice that when a point moves, also its tangent changes direction and length with it, searching for the most natural curve. Once you move manually the tangent points, it will remember your change, avoiding auto adjustments. If you want to reset the values to default, you can drag the values to zero or use the mini button on the right side. Smooth is a property I created to modify the shape in an easy way. This slider controls the length of every tangent point in the spline, except for those you specifically changed. It allows you to create and test different versions of the same terrain without any effort. It's easy to modify and revert and does not affect the position of the point. This smooth can be also applied to a single point. Once you move manually any value for a particular point, it takes priority over the spline settings, allowing you to manually add the detail you want in specific locations and keeping control of the whole shape. There are two ways to define the quality or subdivisions of a spline. In constant mode, each of the segments are subdivided in this amount of segments. And in auto, subdivisions are selected automatically, depending on the geometry of the segment, setting different amount where it's necessary to add more and simplifying where it's not needed. Low, mid and high are the basic settings and there is an user-defined quality. This allows you to define your own rules about where to add or where to simplify segmentation. In this way, you can create the perfect balance for optimization and visual quality that adjusts to your project. The All Points tab has many usages. It allows you to set or reset any property value for every point in the spline, it displays detailed information about all of the points, it lets you select or unselect point, and shows all the tangents on the spline. In Settings tab, you can customize many things on the behavior and interface, and also to set the default values for new points or splines. You can customize the size of the handles. Square or linear tangents changes the point handles in the scene view displaying a square handle only for linear tangents, making it easier to recognize. Select if you prefer the points to be always visible or only during edit mode. When auto select is enabled, the points are selected by positioning the mouse on top of it, making the addition a little bit faster. Most of the time you want the same quality and characteristic for your scenario. So the default tangent mode, smoothness and quality selected in this tab allows you to set those default characteristics. The values you define in this area will be the default values for every new point or spline you create. This does not affect anything that is already created, it's just the starting values for the next terrains. These values are global and they can be changed by any spline. I hope with these changes you can focus more in the creative part of the scenarios by having an easier and faster experience. Thanks for watching this video. 
and see you next time.